He isn't a corporal, never was. He never won the Purple Heart, and he was never in combat to witness the horrors he claimed to have seen. You probably haven't even heard about this. And if you have, you haven't heard much about it. This doesn't fit the narrative and the template of the drive-by media and the Democrat Party as to who a genuine war hero is. And don't look for any retractions, by the way. Not from the anti-war left, the anti-military drive-by media, or the Arabic websites that spread Jesse Macbeth's lies about our troops. Because the truth for the left is, fiction is what serves their purpose. They have to lie about such atrocities. Because they can't find any that fit the template of the way they see the U.S. military. In other words, for the American anti-war left, the greatest inconvenience they face is the truth. Um, I was not talking, as a Contessa Brewer said here, about the anti-war movement generally. I was talking about one soldier with that phony soldier comment, Jesse Macbeth. Uh, they had exactly what I'm going to play for you. This is Michael J. Fox all over again. Uh, Media Matters had the transcript, but they selectively choose what they want to make their point. Here is, it runs about 3 minutes and 13 seconds, the entire transcript in context that led to this so-called controversy. It's not possible intellectually to follow these people. No, it's not. And, and what's really funny is they never talk to real soldiers. They like to pull these soldiers to come up out of the blue and spot the media. The phony but soldiers. The phony the soldiers. If you talk to a real soldier, they are proud to serve. They want to be over in Iraq. They understand their sacrifice, and they're willing to sacrifice for the country. They joined to be in Iraq. They a lot of the well, I mean, yeah. It's frustrating and maddening. It's why they must be kept in the minority. Uh, look, I want to thank you, Mike, uh, for calling. I appreciate it very much. Here is a morning update that we did recently talking about fake soldiers. This is a story of who the left props up as heroes. Then they have their celebrities. One of them was Army Ranger Jesse Macbeth. Now, yeah, he was a corporal. I say in quotes. 23 years old. What made Jesse Macbeth a hero to the anti-war crowd uh, wasn't his Purple Heart. It wasn't his being affiliated with post-traumatic stress disorder from tours in Afghanistan and Iraq. No. What made Jesse Macbeth, Army Ranger, a hero to the left, was his courage, in their view, off the battlefield. Without regard to consequences, he told the world the abuses he had witnessed in Iraq. American soldiers killing unarmed civilians, hundreds of men, women, even children. In one gruesome account, translated into Arabic and spread widely across the Internet, Army Ranger Jesse Macbeth describes the horrors this way. We would burn their bodies. We would hang their bodies from the rafters in the mosque. Now, recently, Jesse Macbeth, the poster boy for the anti-war left, had his day in court. You know what? He was sentenced to five months in jail and three years probation for falsifying a Department of Veterans Affairs claim and his Army discharge record. He was in the Army. Jesse Macbeth was in the Army, folks. Briefly. Forty-four days before he washed out of boot camp. Jesse Macbeth isn't an Army Ranger. Never was. He isn't a corporal. Never was. He never won the Purple Heart, and he was never in combat to witness the horrors he claimed to have seen. You probably haven't even heard about this. And if you have, you haven't heard much about it. This doesn't fit the narrative and the template of the drive-by media and the Democrat Party as to who a genuine war hero is. And don't look for any retractions, by the way. Not from the anti-war left, the anti-military drive-by media, or the Arabic websites that spread Jesse Macbeth's lies about our troops. Because the truth for the left is, 
fiction is what serves their purpose. They have to lie about such atrocities because they can't find any that fit the template of the way they see the U.S. military. In other words, for the American anti-war left, the greatest inconvenience they face is the truth. That was the transcript from yesterday's program talking about one phony soldier.